Hello and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cube. CB, it's really more of like a rectangular space than more of a cube, you know? It's at least cube adjacent. It's cube, well, cube adjacent, sure. Yeah. yeah. Is there Rom a, rhomboid? Is there a, a is, what is a three-dimensional rhombus called? Is it not just... Is that not it? Is that not rhombus? Is, is it a, I don't know. A rom I don't know. Shapes? Shape, shapes. What is a, a, a rectangle? As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. All right, anyway, um, it is month two of Temporal Forces. Yes, I'm very excited. It has been a super thrilling tar start to the season where I think every episode we have had a new leader, but currently Rozzy the King in first place for Team Fire with 110 points. Boom. Hannah, who is just in third place overall, is holding the Big Steve Award because Big Steve is currently in fourth, fourth. but Hannah has 68 points and Big Steve has 49. Uh, just for just for reference, that's the positioning there. Mbug, Currently in quality eighth place, and there's just a massive tie all the way down there at the bottom for last place. So we're going to be looking for lots of repeat one point packs today. See yes. if any of that can shake out. In the meantime, Team Fire is in a commanding lead with 180 points. Uh, water trailing at 152. And our reigning champions uh, between Grass and Team Electric are in third and fourth with 126 and 100 points, 120 points respectively. So Man. just a big shakedown on the leaderboard. Lots of wild stuff is happening. Let's break a box. And as ever, now it is time for the Wheel of Energy. Jay, would you do oh, the honors? Of course I would. Let's see. What is it going to be today? What is our type advantage? It can make all the difference. It really can. Today it is going to be... Oh! Oh! Darkness energy. Wow, not doesn't usually land. There's only one dark energy on the board, so that's pretty random. But look, Umbreon is already in the middle, so it must have happened recently. I anyway. know, yeah, I wonder if that was the last episode we did. It's like, what? No, what? twice in uh, a row? Again? What are the odds? Unlikely. What are the odds? Anyway, as you can see, we've got 39 contestants today, so we have three extra little tiny packs that will be opening at complete random throughout the episode. Today's randomly chosen common chase cards are going to be Bronzong, Yamper, and Shroomish. All right. So no dark, no dark chase cards. No dark chase cards. Okay, that's good to know, because that can yeah. always like throw a wrench in how we do our calculations. Right, it can. It's a lot of things to keep in mind all at once. We gotta remember a lot of very weird rules for this we game. We do, but we invented them. So we yeah, sure it's, did. It's worth it. It's not that bad. All right, first up on the podium today is Nixie Claw. Nixie Claw. Who has only got three points thus far this season. Let's see if we can increase. This is for Team Fire. So if Mixie Claw manages to pull something big right out of the gate, who knows? That's it. Team Just Fire has basically got it. You know? Let's see. Here we go. We've got the Electric Energy, so nothing so far. The Lit and the Shroomish will score. The uh, Lickitung, Slugma, Booster Capsule, Iron oh, Dread, the Buddy Buddy, the buddy, buddy Pop, and the Scyther will sign that for you. And the Mel Metal, which I want to say is the worst card you can pull in the whole set. It is, but that Buddy Buddy Poffin is the one that's the uncommon, but worth three points. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five points Bam, five for, points Nixie for Nixie Claw, Claw. To, uh, to launch things off for us today. Yes, you get a Reverse Hollow Scyther. Oh, man. You can't put a price on that, except you really for can't. probably approximately like 18 cents. Well, you know. Some things are priceless in other ways. Yeah, exactly. All right, next up we've got Karen. Karen! Coming in with an impressive 18 points for Team Grass, so 
Karen's probably sitting, she's sitting in what, 10th overall right now? 10th or 11th, it looks like. Let's see, oh no, yeah, yeah, you're looking at my weird, my weird score. 10th overall, amazingly, by sheer coincidence. No, because I can see there was two 18s and on the 10 line, so. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. so you were using, all right, all right, yeah, yeah. all right, all right, whatever. You can't see our Excel sheet, but we can. <laughs> we can, it is goofy as heck today. All right, we got the salad energy, we got the, <laughs> the Yamper will score. score, the Grubbin, the Medicham, the Tranquil, the Sandy Shocks, the Reunculus, the Mist energy, does that, is, does it? I think it does. I think it does. Let's, let's hang on one second yeah. there. We got the Mudsdale, which doesn't score. The oh, Exodrill! The Exodrill. Drill. There we go. That will there score. Go. And, score the and the Roaring Moon. Which is going to score two points because it is a dark type. There we go. Good eye. All right, let's double check that Mist Energy because I feel yeah. like this is one. It's been a minute since we've recorded on our end. So we're I getting, know. We like batch record these like four at a time once a month and then like a month later it's like Remember things. Remember. Remember. Yeah, Q Mufasa in the sky. Yeah, Q Mufasa. <laughs> the mist energy is in fact worth two. Okay, We're gonna the look one, two, three. Number four, 174, five. the ex Excadrill is going to be worth $2.26. So, so eight three. points total. All right. So Boy, Karen's points. doing great. That is going to bring her up to 24 on the season. Well done to Karen. Yeah, very impressive. Excellent showing. Very good. Where does that put her? Does that put her right in front of Big Steve? Let's see. No, not no, quite. No. Big eighth Steve's place, though. Yes. Yeah. Are we no, in eighth maybe? place? Yes, I believe yes. so. We are eighth in eighth place. place. I mean, I wouldn't expect to stick there, Karen, but you know, you could be in a good, a good jostling spot moving forward. Exactly. There you go. Plus, you're probably scoring for Team Grass at this point. Next up, though, we have got Tix. Tix, also from Team Grass. Yes, also from Team Grass. A little uh, cluster here. Here we go. A little, a little, a little cluster of grass. A little, a yard yeah. as they, uh, the pitch. The pitch, the pitch exactly. as they're known. Boom, here we go. We've got Grass Energy for yeah, Team Grass. Yeah. Brandlin, Drafferig, Roselia, Cutiefly, Bianca, Reuniclus. Nope, okay. Explorer's Guide, Knocked Out, the Mighty Anna, Will Score. Oh, oh, the Raging Bolt, full art. It looks Dang. so pretty. I love it. That is super cool. Let's see on the, the Raging Bolt there. $4.40. That'll be five, six. Man, that's six. So Team Grass really like that. I mean, they. I think that they came into today and they, you know, whenever you 16. wear that mantle of being the reigning champs of the team competition, you know, it's like you can't be underestimated. And yeah. that's basically what they're trying to say. They're making like a commanding stomp right here with their pitch right at the beginning. Right at the beginning. They're coming out being, I, I will say, I also just recorded a reel for my uh, Jay Griffin Mustache in May thing where I... Uh, ranked the top three mustachioed Pokemon. Oh! And I put Raikou, which is the, you know, the present day version of Raging Bolt at number three. Oh, okay! So, fun fact, there you go. Although, Raging Bolt, maybe I should have said him, because his mustache is pretty good. It's pretty epic. It's pretty it's epic. Pretty, it's, it's rather prominent. I wouldn't have even known it to be a mustache. I would have thought that it was like a giant purple grub. <laughs> yeah, well, that's more like the cloud. I'm talking about the, like, the lightning bolt thing there. This thing, right. Right, there, there you oh. go. Look at that. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, wow. That is pretty impressive. Pretty good. Pretty good. Anyway, next up we've got Ariel Stormborn on the docket. What do you got for a Stormborn as it literally begins raining outside as I'm oh, speaking? That like was a, weird. That was weird. A little yeah. bit of like an omen. Yeah. yeah okay. Like, All right. Let's like, see it. We, we hear you, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. We got the mud bray, the ghastly will score, mm -hmm. the fin is in, the dun sparse, the scream tail, the sable eye, the iron valiant, the minchino will not score, the c dot will not score, and the hey, incineroar will incineroar. score. Incineroar. Number thirty four. So it's a front pager. It's going to come in at just sixty three cents. So just a single point there. So three points on the pack for Ariel Stormborn. Three points Here, on the pack. I'm pretty sure the storm outside just got a little bit worse. It did. Yeah, yeah no it's doubt. It's like it's like okay, okay. Right? We're doing our best. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Five points on the season. You know, not too bad. All right, next up we've got Gildruin. Gildruin. This is the wrong one. Let's see. I believe I'm pulling for uh, Mr. In, as it were. Mr. In, Mr. as in, in. Gildrew. Uh, Ga Gildrew. Gildrew. Hello, my first name is Gildrew. Yeah, yes. Like, Dr like Andrew, but Gildrew. Gildrew. Last yeah. name In. Last name In, yes. yes. Yeah. You can call me by my first name. Master. <laughs> name that book. <laughs> it's always the same one. <laughs> uh, hey. Samosa, Scyther, Skitty, Electabuzz, Zera, Aura, Sharpedo, Metagross, Boxed Order, Piddove, and Fluttermane. Gotta say, Mr. In, not a super good pack for you, other than the uh, the Mighty Scyther that you The Mighty here. Scyther, there we go. So number 78 on the set is gonna be worth 41 cents, so really even from like a last place standpoint. Yeah, but you're already, you already out of last place contention because you had two points coming in, so Gildruin having sort of an upsetting season thus far. Kind of an upsetting season. Not yeah. exactly.
exactly what you want to see, but you know what? It's got to happen to somebody. It's got to happen. Right now. now we've moved into the Team Fire section here, so we are at Below Average Gaming Dad, hey, a hey, crowd favorite. A crowd favorite, and one of my all-time favorite players, especially because we're opening for them right now, but also because I sort of relate to the Below Average Gaming nature of this dad. Well, you were also his first friend ever on Wizards Unite. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. We go way back. You go way back. We go way back. Yeah. I just opened Pokemon Go for the first time in like months this morning because Luke wanted to put Pokemon in the living room because he's watching Mewtwo Strikes Back a lot right now. Naturally. Yeah. So that He was, is your son after all. He is. <laughs> absolutely. It's in his blood. I know. He's just like, Pokemon's just the best. I was like, I get it. I get it. Yeah. yeah. What are you going to do when they just love the things that you love and you just have to embrace? I'm just, what do you mean? What do you mean? What am I going to do? I'm just going to enjoy life to the fullest. I just answered my own question. Yeah. I just said, you just have to embrace. You just embrace <laughs> exactly what I'm going <laughs> to do. This is great. Like, guess what? Sorry. No, it's not bedtime. We're staying up till midnight playing Pokemon cards. Mom. Oh, geez. Yeah. See you later. Being such a wet blanket. Mr. Mime, his least favorite Pokemon. Though. Nice. That's amazing. <laughs> so Mr. Mime, we got the Raichu, the Victini, the Bronze, or not the Bronzong though. That's what we're looking for. Nope. The Saw's book, the Cypher Mania. The Behemoth, the Behemoth, I can never get that one right. The, the Great Tusk will not score. The Glowark will not score. And the Iron, Iron Valiant, Valiant will so just for a singular pointage. They are not even a Scyther in this one and a lowly Mr. Mimes. Yeah, that's a little bit tough. Team Fire really not, not exactly having quite the day. Maybe they came in like with a little bit of a full head of steam, as Her, it were. Probably. But uh, next up, we do have Tina Doge, who probably invented Dogecoin. Oh, almost. <laughs> yeah. almost. If my like, notes here are correct, which are mine and made up. Yes, and it's also Dodge versus Tina Doge. Dodge. Doge coin. You know what? We're splitting hairs. Yeah, it's yeah. the same thing. I bet. I bet you anything. Tina Dodge was sitting at a fancy restaurant in San Francisco when Justin Timberlake walked up to her and was like, "Drop the D." Drop the D. Just and it's that was a that was a the face. He's like from my name. <laughs> yeah. Do you no, know Ange? No, yeah. <laughs> Not that D. No. Dogecoin. Doge. That was a really deep cut reference to the Social Network movie. <laughs> it was. All right, we have Chad Ott, Ladios, Agent Booster, Iron Treads, Bramblin, the Macargo, and the Bramble Gas. So you get the full uh, Bramblin evolution line, but just a single point out of there. Uh, uh, Mrs. Just, Dogecoin. Yeah, just the just just the one point there. The th thing is, for the five cents under which you just collected per the card value, you could probably buy about one Dogecoin. You probably could, and maybe you should, because it's clear, I mean, if you invented it, great investment. Exactly. You know? Dogecoin to the moon, apparently. Exactly. People say that. <laughs> do they? they? Oh, yeah, they definitely oh, do. Yeah. Do you have Dogecoin? I have some Dogecoin. There's some Dogecoin. I think, We're helping. I think it's funny. For the laws, right? For the laws. All right, next up is our first rookie of the day contestant. Ben. It is Ian's Chonky Cat. Ian. Ian's Chonky. This is the great, one of the best names I've ever heard. All right, Ian's Chonky Cat. They have been an SCB fan for six years. The question That's is impressive. whether or not Ian's Chonky Cat was like, this account is for my Chonky Cat. Right, like these cards are for Chonk Cat. For Chonk Cat. Yeah. yeah, what do you think the cat's name is? Um, marbles? Marbles it is! I'm just gonna write, make quick note of that. Cat. We got the Snom, the Pikachu, the marbles. Scyther, which Jay will sign for you, the Sizzlepeed, the Rescue Board, the Rabombi, Rabombi? Yeah, we got it. The yeah, Hand Tremor, yeah. the Del Caddy will not score, the Matang will not score, and the Explorer's oh, Guidance look at that will. Guy. Look at that. And you never Marbles, know. the Chonky Cat gets an Explorer's Guidance. There we go. It's not our first, but it is decent. $6.70. We'll round up to seven points. For seven. That one that's there. solid for Rookie of the Day contention, that honestly. That is solid. I mean, I would say, yeah, if you sign up an account for your cat, and on Look. day one you get a full art card worth seven, you might be going to the Olive Garden. You might be going to the Olive Garden, man. People who don't know, like, like if your family members are listening in on this entire conversation, they're like, what? are they talking about? Yeah. Someone's cat, Pokemon cards, Olive Garden? Yeah. So if you, if this is your first pack ever, you are a contender for Rookie of the Day, which is a contest that only happens in that episode. Yes. If you have the most points of any rookie that day, we send you a $10 Olive Garden gift card. We do. For real. Yeah. So you can go enjoy that with your cat, Marbles, probably. Probably. Yeah. Although I don't know if Olive Garden allows cats, but Probably not. Them. You know what, just do takeout. You can still do that. Eat it at home on right. the couch. Eat it at home. While you watch this. Cats love Olive Garden. Everyone knows that. Probably. Probably. <laughs> Come on. All right, next up we've got Carly B. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Carly Beast coming in with eight points. Solid first pack. There we go for Team Electric. This is the first time ever that Carly, who joined us back in season nine, all single pack season so far. Yes. So the first time Carly will ever have a second pack. That's right. Let's see. Rosalia, Cutie Fly, Roserade. Oh, Roselia and Roserade. Exodrill, Keldeo, Whimsicott, the Cottony, and the Iron Valiant. Oh, Boy. Man. Feels like we just saw that card a second ago. You got it? like two evolution lines in here, but. No, no hits of any kind. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, just uh, let's see here. Just 14 cents for that one. There you go. So yep. Carly B, one point on the round. So this is yeah, you're right. This is our first time seeing Carly get into her second pack of the season. It's not, it doesn't seem to be her forte. You know? Not not yet. Not you can't yet. get too comfy with a one pack season. It's true. It's true. Right, next up, we've got Sydney. Sydney, who I believe had a great start to the 34 season. 34 points. Where is Sydney presently sitting? It's got to be near the top. Yeah, Sydney. Sixth place. Is in, yeah. Sixth place currently All coming right. into the day. Right, so if Sydney hits a, a moderately big pack, she can really jump up here. Yes, good good striking potential. I feel like we're in a good a good area for it. Like no the, multiplier yet. The salad energy, the Budbear, the Ghastly was score, the Fin is in, the Dun Sparse, the Ancient Booster, the Rapid Ash, the Bolton, the Maridon, Will Score, uh -oh. the Delmise. Yeah. Yeah, dumb eyes. Yeah, but not bad. Yeah. Uh, and the Dun Spars. The Dun Spars. Just oh, Dun Spars. Oh, got the evolution so, line, but not the critical hit. So just three just points. Three points. On okay. That one. So up to thirty-seven. Does not change their spot on the leaderboard? I don't think. Yeah. Oh, it, oh does. it does. It does. That was enough to jump ahead of Annika at thirty-six points. How about that? So wow. yeah, just really rubbing it Barely. in the team water space over there. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right. Next up, we have got Bront opening. Bront. Uh, his second pack ever, uh, Bront like Brontosaurus. This is uh, is probably your number one fan in New Zealand. No wow. way! Wow, how are okay. you judging that? No, I, I think you, you know. Think you when know. you know, you when know. You, when you're like, no, it's me. Yeah. Like it's if any, if it's more, how could they? The one occasion that I've been like physically in New Zealand, yeah. I was so much more aware of everything about my existence. You were? Yeah, it was just. Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you seemed like 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 you believed me for well, a second. I wasn't Should we sure, go back? I wasn't, I wasn't sure if you were talking about because of Bront or just like in general. Like I just felt like actualized. When it's I like visited. I know I know everything. Yeah. When I'm in New Zealand, I have like a New Zeal for life. You know. Oh yeah, exactly. Okay. Maybe that's why they named it that country name. Exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh, we got an Iron Boulder. There we there go. We this go. is not a bad pack, honestly. Let's see, number ninety nine on the set. Yeah. Let's take a peek here. Our buddy, buddy poffins are doing work. I know this, the iron boulder is just going to be worth fifty one cents. So just a okay, single so point. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six points. Six points. So that puts up to ten. Ten on the season. Not too shabs. Excellent showing. Yep. There's all these, there's all these like packs like this where it's like you got ten, you increase by a jump, but it's like all it takes is that like maybe you're the one who gets the other big hit on the season, that, and then then your second and third packs really matter. It does really matter because that's the thing is that yeah, so we've got you know uh, over in first place right now we got Razi the King uh, with 110 points. That's just off of one pack. One pack. So it's like. At any point in time this season, somebody else could pull a pack. You think we're gonna go defense. two months without getting another pack like that? I don't think so. I don't think so. We might see a lead change today. We might see a lead change today. Yeah. Do you think we will? Are you gonna call? Are you gonna call I'm it? I'm calling it. Oh I'm my gosh! It. Lead change. You think it's gonna happen right here? Oh we my got this, gosh! We got the dark tear Wouldn't this be crazy? We got this would be the call of the century. The Golet. The Elgium. Worst Pokemon. Melton. The Rabska. The Iron Jugli uh, Juglius. <laughs> Juglius? <laughs> Jug I, I think really it's like jugular, like, you know, Okay, okay, yeah. your jugular vein. Yeah, it's like going for it. Is that, it, it is, okay, sure enough. That's what I think. We got the Full Metal Lab, the Tranquil will not score, the Mr. Mime will not score, and the Feraligator. Oh, wow, so it wasn't this pack. This is going to be a two-point Feraligator. I will go ahead and censor it for you, just oh for, you know, gosh. keep it family friendly. I don't know if you guys can hear the thunder. But Ariel Stormborn is up Ariel there right Stormborn. now, like, y'all? With, hang on, how many points did she get again? Three? Yeah, yeah. Ariel Stormboard is not pleased with she us. She is like, you know what? Lead change, bring the rain. Bring the rain. What? It was Ryan. We didn't say who it was for. Oh my gosh, Ryan! Wow, that's hilarious. I'm so sorry, Ryan. It is still just a one point pack. No, Man. two point pack. Was it? Because the multiplier. Oh, multiplier. Wow. Okay. We're we are off our game. We are off. We are. The rain is scaring me. It is. It is. There it is. Okay. Next up is indeed Vicky. It is indeed Vicky. Here we from go. From Team Who's, Water. From Team Water with four points on the season thus far. Here we go. Okay. All right. Will you be our lead change with four points? So we got a long way to go. You have to get quite a pack. Hundred. Seven at least. Yeah, 107 points. Let's go. Why how, not? How hard could it be, Jay? How hard could it be? Seems hard. 
I've got the Metal Energy, which is not All a good right. omen. Nope. Ponyta, Chadot, Delmize, Electivire, Sanchino, Ponyta, critical hit! <gasps> oh! Double critical hit, Ben? No <gasps> way! Four times multiplier! Is it? It is, look! Oh, you're Gentle right. Slap. Oh my gosh, it's a double critical hit into the Coridon, which is terrible, but fortunately the Chinchino might carry you, and you have the four times multiplier! Boy, oh you gosh. so rarely see the double critical you hit. You so rarely see you it. You love to see it, though. Okay, so it's gonna be solid. It's yeah. gonna be solid. So 183 for the Chinchino is gonna be worth $13.77, so 14. 14 times four? 14 times four is 28.56. Oh 57 points with the Coridon. What the heck? Seven points! That is gonna bring you up to, what, 61 on the season! 61 will put you in fourth place overall, and you will take over the Big Steve Award. The double critical hit on the wow. Illustrator Chinchino. That's exciting stuff right there. That was there. cool. That, that was, was cool. I right. love it. Man, Vicky, what a pack. I love that for you. So fun, so fun. Boy, can you imagine if that had had the type multiple? If that had had the type advantage as well, that would have been an eight times multiplier. That would have been insane. The what? rare, rare eight times multiplier. That would have been 32 plus 80. It would have done it. It would have done it. That oh! Oh, so close, so close. Man, this is hilarious because we just had Bront, and now we have Braun, who next to you I've written in Tosaurus. No, that's so, hysterical. So we have Braun and Bront, both Not of be, which we're calling Brontosaurus. Stop mixing them up, okay? They're different okay, people. They're different people, okay? But the same dinosaur. Exactly. Exactly. Braun oh. has got 70 points, so this this could also do it. Gosh, so yeah, Braun and Vicky might have to become rivals of one another. Or Braun and Braun. <laughs> or Braun and Braun. That would add up too. So we got the Rockus Bubbling, we got the Sanam, the Pikachu, the, the Scyther, Scyther. Which table sign for you, the Sizzlepeed. I feel like I've seen this pack before. I know. The Mudsdale, the Explorer's Guidance, the Colossal, the Giraffe Rig will not score, the Sawsbuck will not score, and the Bramble Gas was just wow. a single point. Not the joy of last pack for sure, yeah. Vicky. But Braun maintains their lead over top of Vicky, where it, but it's it's an arrow. It it's is. An arrow. Wow. Yeah. Is, it, is it? So it's 50. Yes, yeah, so yeah, 61 have, to 71. Yeah, so a 10 yeah. point split. A 10 point split between the last two and up up near the top. Wow. All right. So look at looking forward to those third packs because they could really uh, go big. Let's see. Next up, we have got uh, Jay Colga? Colega? Jay Colega. Coleha? Coleha. Kole, 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 ha. I've been watching some Dragon Ball Z. Oh, have you? Yeah. How's that going? Dragon Ball Z Kai. Pretty good. We're up to Frieza. Nice. Or, well, you know. We're at that. The, the formula for Dragon Ball is big guy comes, and we need a way for the other characters to have screen time. So we got to have Goku be, like, far away, and they have to, like, wait for Goku to get there to do the real fight. <laughs> in the meantime, everyone else dies. So we're at that stage of the Frieza one, where it's like, oh, no, Gohan and Krillin are stranded on Namek. What do we do? Goku's six days away. Ah! I understood everything. Did you guys too? I'm sure they did. <laughs> anyway, we got Poochie Edible Score, Wiglet, Melton, C Dot, Future Booster, Iron Heads, Heavy Baton, Vikamon. If only it was an electric day. Good Electabuzz and the Dunspar. So Man, just two. Just two for, for Jake there. Ah, so five on the season. There we go. Five on the season for Jake. Kamehameha. Here's a sweet mustache for you. There's a sweet mustache, yes, exactly. Crushing it. If you guys didn't know, because I don't think I've said it on the show yet, I am growing a mustache right now based on the number of followers I get this month on Instagram. So yes. every new follower is an extra minute, but also you can go to supercarlinbrothers.com and sign up for our email list, and that will also give me an extra minute of mustache growth, or you can uh, go visit our fundraiser page, which we'll link down in the description below, to uh, stop sarcoidosis, and every dollar donated will add another minute to the mustache. Also, we're going on tour next month, and I really want him to have a mustache on tour, so. There's that, things. you know. For me. Make it happen. There you go. All right. All right, so we got the Nuzleaf, we got the Manchino, the Rockruff, the Litten, the Golurk, the Shaman. I'm, I'm double this checking. This is for Andriana, by the way. Andriana, yeah. who has one point coming into the day. Ooh, yes. The, With a five cent pack, so she must have okay. had the Mel Metal. Okay. So, so she's so kind of hoping for something like a bad pack here. For for something uninteresting. Right. So, yeah, so, let's so see far, so good. So far, so good. The Totodile will not score. The Bronzor will, will not score. score. Oh, oh this, I mean, this could still be a single point. It could be. Just let's a see. high single number, point. Number 120 on the set. 
43 cents. 43 yep. cents. So there we go. Right. So that is our first person with two packs and two points. Now it is, you do have 43 cents, which could be bad news, but at, at present, I would say you are in last place. You are in last place. Yes. Congratulations. Don't well, let it go to your head. Don't let it go to your head. The very next person, well, they can't. Act. Well, they could, because this is their rookie of the day, so if they have a single point pack, that will put them there. That's true. So, anyway, next up, this is, I don't even know if we wrote this from here. Juve? Juve! It looked like J-U-U, and I was like, that can't be right. Juve? Juve! Juve! Juve 16. Coming up against uh, Ian here, who has seven points for the rookie of, rookie of the day battle. All right, so Juve is looking for at least eight points to head to the Olive Garden. Okay, okay. Here we go. Can we get eight? Can we get more? Bam, Grass Energy, not a great start. Cottony, Carvana, the Atkins. Atkins will score. Turtwig, Great Tusk, Del Caddy, Tora Cat, the Iron Treads, and the Iron Thorns. That's gonna do it, just two points just for two points. Okay. All right, so that is their rookie outing there. Not headed to the Olive Garden, but are getting some cards sent their way. That's right, that's right. Yeah, as a, as a reminder, in case you're watching the show and you're like, do people actually get the cards? They in fact do. We mail them out every single month and everybody gets all their little packs. I can only assume Juve invited all of his friends over to be like, hey, I'm gonna be on this show. Viewing party. Viewing party. Oh. Let's see me open a pack. That was it. Everyone was like, wow, glad we came over, Juve. <laughs> I think we can beat you. We're gonna sign up right now. <laughs> That's most likely what's gonna happen. I head on over to patreon.com so super calling the game means like any of the box breakers steers. We got uh, the thank mayoral, you for your support, you. <laughs> the Colette, the LGM, the Meltan, the Perilous, the perilous Jungle. jungle. <laughs> so it seems like uh, this is where Cusco is in, in the beginning of Emperor's New Groove. Yeah. The Perilous Jungle. Right. The Umfazont, uh, the Eerie, the Shroomish will score, the Dunsparce will not, and the Whimsicott will. Boy. So just just two points. Two point pack from Megan K there. Megan K, who I don't know if we announced once again. We got to announce my people. I know. Here we go. Megan K, Team Water, 2.7 on the season. Been watching SCB since 2016. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Megan K. Don't let it go to your head. No, wait. That's okay. That you fine. can let that go. You can let that go. Yeah. yeah. All right. Next up, we've got Jeremy Evans, second pack ever. So their first pack was a rookie pack. They had, they have two points on the season so okay. far. Okay. Here we go. Let's see, Jeremy, how are we gonna do for pack number two ever? Can we get something big? Can we make a name for ourselves in box breakers? We've got the water. Totodile, Deerling, Padove, Pineco, the Mist Energy. Energy. There we go. The Behem. Oh, oh, here we go. Our first Ace Spec of the Day, the Reboot Pod, which I don't think we've had yet, haven't we? Maybe, Maybe we not. have. Skitty and the Roaring Moon will score as well. Let's see here. So number 158. 158. I'll go ahead and sleeve that up for you while we wait. 158. That's just going to be 279. We oh, have had one before. So, so just three, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, no. Seven. Seven. Not, seven bad. not terrible. Up to nine points on the season. And you do get a nice ace spec card coming your way. There we go. That's there still we go. Pretty good. You can only pretty use good. one per deck, right? You can only use one per deck. See, exactly. I just know so much. Wow. I know so much. Wow, wow, wow. Look at you go, Ben. All right, next up we have Earth, aka Sailor Earth, probably. Probably. Yeah, here we go. Defender of the planet. Defender. Let's see. All right. All right. We've got three points on the season so far. All right, we got our teardrop Shroomish energy. Scores. The Shroomish will score. The Lickitung, the Charger Bug, the Slugma, the Vicavolt, the Latius, the Great Tusk. Oh, the, the Prime Catcher! Oh back my gosh. to back. Ace Specs. There we go. The Screamtail and the Karate. As we know, the Prime Catcher is the prime Ace Spec you can pull. It is indeed. And we pulled a couple of them so we far. We have. So number 157 on the set. That's even worth $31.05. So 32. 32 33 34 34 for Earth, very there we impressive. Go. Let's see, moving to 37 on the season. That is awesome. I want to say the Prime Catcher. Some people have hit the multiplier on it this season. Yes, yes, it could crazy. be how we have a 70 pointer. Uh, possibly Braun. Braun did Braun pull that? Yeah, yeah I can't or, quite or remember. Hannah. Yeah. Um, yeah, the Hannah would make sense if it was just times two because 68 points. So anyway, hard to. Hard to recollect each each individual pack. Well, there you go. I'd say we're about like what halfway ish through this episode. Are we going to see the leaderboard change? We have seen two of the A specs already go, so that that's might hurt true. Our odds. But uh, next up, we have Rab Rangoon. It's been a good box so far. It though. has been. This has been fun. We had the double multiplier. Ah, oh, that's always my fave. Always my fave. More time. Big skyrocket. Boom. Let's see. We've got the raucous pummeling energy. We haven't seen too many uh, multipliers yet. 
Puchando score, Wiglet, Melton, CDOT, Guidance, Iron Hands, Morty's Conviction, the Mel Metal will score, the Pikachu won't, and the Macargo. Just three. Three points there for Rab Rangoon to five on the season. Probably not what they were hoping for, but still one more pack to go. Still one more pack to go. It only takes one. Only it only takes, takes one. one. We've seen it a thousand times. Speaking of which, now we've got Monkey Bacon, father-son duo, coming in strong with 28 points. Yes, so doing a lot of a lot of lifting right now for Team Electric with no those doubt. 28 points. Um, let's see what they've got going on today. We got Ooh, the, oh, okay, so we got the multiplier. multiplier. Got Let's the see the it. The Minchina, the Rock Ruff, the Litten, the Centisquirt, oh, the Bunny Bunny nice. Coffin, the Iron Treads, the D Dun Sparkle Score, the yeah. Meltan. I thought there was one before. The oh, Iron, the iron forms, forms to close out. So Man. one, two, three, four, five times two is ten. ten. You know what? Thir Thirty-eight points is still pretty solid. It I mean, is very solid. Actually, I think it's going to move you immediately above Earth. Yes, who just had that big thirty-four point pack. Yes, unbelievable, unbelievable. Wow. So a little bit more uh, consistent play, I guess you could say, at thirty-eight points, barely nudging out Earth. Monkey Bacon came to play this season. Came you guys. to Keep play. Keep an eye on round. Three. All right. Next up, we've got Games Boon, longtime player here at uh, Carlin Brothers Box Breakers. You turn this thing back on. Whoop! Hold on. Whoop. All right. Games Boon is coming in with two points here. His partner collects Pokemon cards, so join to help them collect. All there right. Let's see if we can help add to that collection. We've got the Grass Energy, the Mawile, Metatite, Turtonator, great name, Hoot Hoot, Rapidash, Bolton, Mudsdale, Drillbur, Cutie Fly, and Maridon. Man, not a great addition to the collection today, has to be said. Has to be said, number 121. Just a three points on the season, ugh. Yeah, so just, uh, that's 25 cents for that one if we're keeping track, but. Yep. There we ah! go. Ah! Lost the Bolton up there. There we go, it's coming back, here we go. All right, next up we have got Low Skill Rob. Low Skill Rob! If I, if I recall, um, big rival of the low average gamer dad. Yeah, who was also in today's episode. Yeah, so, so just, you know, bam, bam. I can't remember how they did. There as we go. it were. I could probably find look. it. Yeah. yeah, below. Yeah, just one point today. One so point. So. Not, not an incredibly high standard in, in terms of uh, taking them down. So we got the salad energy. I feel like. If we had had salad today, I feel like there's been a bunch of these. There has been a lot, yeah. Um, a lot of multipliers. Got the Solosis, around. the Skitty, the Electabuzz, the Bramblin. Oh, the Bronze Bronzong! There we go. The day. Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, the Iron Treads, Ekans the Ekans scores. will score. Uh, be he Behem. Behem. I yeah. always struggle with this one. It's I don't know terrible. why. It, then it's the Dramp, terrible word. Uh, to close out, so just three points, but three points, but better than below average gaming dad. Below average gaming dad's like, look, it's right there in my name, and low skill Rob is all like, mine too, mine too. Okay, we're having a great <laughs> fight down here, like <laughs> one of those fights, probably. one of those fights, one of those fights, but you but don't like want... kind of like heroically, like you heroic, know, like yeah. I like to think it's like epic music, and like flames everywhere, and like, yeah, yeah, like that. All right, Ben, next up is another Rookie of the Day contender, V-Rose. V-Rose. Or V-Rose. I'm saying V-Rose, because that's how it's spelled out. Okay, okay. All right, so here we go. First pack ever for V-Rose. Welcome to the game. Thank you for your support on Patreon. Can we get you more than seven points and some delicious breadsticks? Let's see. This Only is time will down. tell. Man, Fireball Energy, no okay. multiplier yet. Totodal, Deerling, Piddle, Pineco, Shiftry, Bianca's Devotion. The Mist Energy? The Mist Energy is something, the Lycan Rock is nothing, and the Iron Leaves! Oh, oh, we, know, we know there are big Iron Leaves, but is this one? It's not, it's so no. $2.27, we're to three. That's so five. close, because it's a five point pack. Well, Man. congratulations to Ian Stronky Cat. <sighs> takes home the Olive Garden gift card. Damn. Congratulations to our rookie of the day. Well played by V Rose. Valiant effort. Very close, very close. Pulled that iron or the iron leaves there, which if it had been a, just a little rarer, you would have had it just no a, problem. Just a little bit rarer. All right, next up we have Krasara, who probably has blades for hands. Probably blades for hands. Yep, they're coming into uh, round two with three points. And we get them something big for right. Team Electric. All right, Krasara. 
Oh, my favorite players. Mm, As indeed. said, let's yep. see here. We got the Metal Energy, got the Shroomish, Shroomish. Score, the Lickitung, the Charger Bug, the Slugma, the Box Order, the Rabombi, Future Booster Energy Capsule, Morty's Conviction. Oh, oh look at that Sauce Bug. That is such a pretty it. card. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. It okay, is. then we got the Maridon to close out. Let's see, number 166. Man, I like how they put all four seasons, but like the Sauce Buck itself is like the autumn one. Yes, indeed. Yeah. I think this might be our first one of these. $8.44. We'll round up to nine. 10, 10 11. 11. There you go. Not bad for Chrysara, which brings him up to 14 on the season. Very good, very good. Amazing sauce buck art. So if nothing else, just admire that. I know, that's, that is a gorgeous card. That is, I like that one. Oh, I think there's a deerling maybe that goes with it over here. Oh yeah, maybe that's what we've pulled already. Yeah, because it does look familiar. I yes. bet that's what it is. Okay, all right. Next up, we've got Kevin for Team Fire. Kevin! Kevin! From up. Oh, Ben's pulling Bam. the Ben's Bam. pulling the backpack here. Backpack. Backpack, backpack magic. Backpack. Here we do we have backpack magic. Bum bum bum. Now, ooh, in season nine, they pulled a four times multiplier, Kevin. Did. Wow. Okay. Was that an omen? Aerial Stormborn. Aerial Stormborn, backpack magic. That's a code no, card, Jay. Y'all can have that one. Whoever gets it first. For free. No. Enjoy. Boom. It's gone. Oh, wow. That, that was, was an amazing throw. You guys couldn't throw. see it. That was a great throw. It went like across the room. There we go. Metal Energy. Not going to score. The Shroomish will score. The lick. This, this, these three. I know. Yeah. Charge. This, I was going to say the Slug Bowl was next. I okay. knew it. I knew it. Zero or the Sharpedo, the Metagross, the Snarm, the Meryl, the Relicanth. Wow. So it was Just not an, or it was a bad omen. It was a bad omen. I'm anything. sorry. No backpack magic. No. Nope. On this one. There it was. Unfortunately, but two there coming we go. at you, Kev. Enjoy, Kevin. All right, next up on the day, we have got Dragon. Dragon, who's also going to get some backpack magic. Possibly. Oh. Some of them have to be good, right? Right? I think had, have we? I don't know. It's, it's hard to, it's hard to recall on literally ago. everything. Yeah. I can't, we can barely remember who turn it into open packs, so. All right, let's see here. So we got the, the code card off to the side. We got the... Rock is Pumping Energy, the Pineco, the Mawile, Metatite, Turdinator, Explorer's Guidance, Colossal, Eerie, none of the randomly chosen common chase cards. Nothing. The Iron Thorns Iron will score, the, the Breloom will not, and the Mel Metal Mel will. Metal Metal, wow, just two points. Just two, so Dragon showing up. There we go, two point packs back to back for Dragon for four on the season. There you go. There's always round three, buddy. There's always round three. You know what the backpack magic does bring into the equation, though, is what? the potential for more ace specs. It does, you're right, because there's typically like two per box. Right, you're probably not gonna see three. I don't think you'll see three. I don't think so. I suppose it could happen. All right. I'm not optimistic. Here we go, we got Lady Starlight coming in uh, with four points on the season. Which as long as, as long as, you know, uh, Stormborn was able to bring a storm. If you know you wanted to bring some starlight in the form of sunshine, you right. wouldn't be upset. Not the worst. Here we go. We got Mr. Mime, Raichu, Victini, Bronzor, Eerie, Colossal, Box Order, the Grubbin, the Croconaw, and the Fluttermain. So Ooh. wow, we're in a bit of a slump here all of a sudden. A bit of a slump. Five points for Lady Starlight on the season. I don't think have we seen the Croconaw at all today? I don't think we have. I think so. I love, yeah, that, that pack was missing out on a potential Scyther, it was missing out on any multipliers. No, we really haven't seen a Scyther in a minute either. I know, I know. All right, well, let's see. Next up, we've got Tyler Gillies, who, fun fact, has an identical twin brother. And it's coming, he's a, he's a last place contender at eight cents. And eight if cents. I, I want to say, uh, what did we have earlier? Like that 41 cent pack? So There's, if you yeah. can keep it like under 50 cents, you're probably looking pretty good here. Probably in pretty good sense. So let's see. Yeah. Pretty good, pretty good shape. Now the we are in a slump, so good point to pull this. Exactly. Well, yeah, so no doubling here. We've got that's the Jaffer the Roselia, the Cutie Fly, the Drill Burt. Oh, oh buddy, buddy, that's in. it, man. There you we go. It's almost out too, of last place. Too good to be even upset about that. We've got yeah. the Zara Oro, the Sharpedo, the Knocked Owl will not score, the Medicham. Will not score and the Mel. Oh Mel. no! You oh my gosh! It. Oh, the Buddy Buddy Poffin ruined you! Oh, oh the Mel, Mel. They were really putting up last place energy and they, I know. they couldn't handle them. They got four for a weird rule, which I know people benefit <laughs> from, but like. Not today! Not today. So four points. The good news is it's a really good card if you want to play. Which is why it's worth which so Which is why much. it's worth so much. Yeah, so that's hilarious. So Lady Starlight last time had four points and got one point today. And Tyler Gillies had one point last time and got four points today. Wow. All right. Well, there you go. That's how the cards open sometimes. Next up, we've got Robot Wiz. Robot Wiz, which always reminds me of Robotnik. Yes. Every single time. Every and I'm like, I time. always think, like, oh, like the Sonic villain. And then it's like, no, it's not like the Sonic villain. 
It's Robot Wiz. It's Robot Wiz. Robot Wiz. Yeah. Robot Wiz. Robot Wiz. Robot Nick. Robot Nick. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's see how you're getting there. Yeah. Yeah. Bada boom. Here we go. Oh! Woo! Wow. Electric Energy. Beldum, Heatmore, Roly Coly, Azumarill, Cypher Maniac, Sauce Buck, Perilous Jungle, Mud Braid, Charger Bug, and Bramble Gap. Wow. Man. Rather disfortunate. That's going to be a one point card with that Bramble Gas. That's not great. It would be okay if you had gotten one point last time, too, but you managed two points last time, so it might take you out of last place contention. I mean, otherwise, I mean, it's not impossible, but not impossible. Not normally, impossible. over three months, we get a sink, we get a three-point winner. A three-point winner. That's right. Yep. Right. So who's up next? Mysterios. Mysterios. We've met we Mysterios. We have. All right. Let's see. What are they doing? Cracking the pack. Code card. Ooh, oh, there we go. Multiplier for Mysterios. Let's okay. see it. Got the Solosis, the Skitty, the Electabuzz, the Bramblin, the Iron Hands, the Rescue Board, the Sandy Shocks, the Raichu will not score, the Hoot Hoot will not score. Oh, the Scizor Oh, man. Well, of course, Scyther evolves into Scizor, which makes it immediately an awesome Pokemon. Do you guys hear this rain? All right, number 111 seems to be 68 cents. Oh, just, no, just one, two, point. well, two points with the Multiplier. Oh, two points, you're right, because the Multiplier. It's the second time today that we had had the dark type energy and it only multiplied us up to up to two up to two you so to there you go but enjoy your card either which way mysterious there you go all right next up we have got not lauren not lauren not to be confused with lauren, with lauren or, or another lauren, lauren, lauren or, or lauren. master lauren yes yeah lots of laurens here but this is not lauren you hear this right it is cr ariel stormborn is so mad at her pack today yes well, we're sorry we can't help it you know the show's random all right, Mawile, Metatite, Turtonator, Hoot Hoot, Lycanroc, Salvatore, Palafin, the Coridon will score, the Iron Valiant will score, and the Melmetal will man. score. Man, so, man. That's another instance, though, where somebody came into the day with just one point and pulled the Melmetal, but was hampered by... By hampered so, by... by too, too good of pulls otherwise. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. So close. So close. But either which way, enjoy the Mel Metal. Enjoy the Mel Metal. You know, you got three rare cards, and two of them were Reverse Hollow. So, oh, is it Final Backpack Magic time? It's the Final Backpack Magic for right. the one, the only zero four twelve. Who's coming in at four points right now? Could let's see the Ace Spec. A spec. A spec. I, know, I feel like I called it. I no, brought no, it up. You brought it up. So you, 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 are you going to manifest it or not, Ben? We're gonna see. We're gonna see. Got the rock is pummeling. The fin is in. The Dunsparce, the Snom, the Pikachu, the oh! Buddy Buddy Poffin, the Iron Trunks, the Box Tour, the, the Mel Metal, Metal will score. score, the Charger Bug, and the, the Coridon. Oh, man. Not quite, not quite what we were looking for. Not quite indeed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we already pulled one of these today. I'm just double checking for safety. Look at this, the Buddy Buddy Poffin with the Mel Metal again. I know, so one, two, three, four, five, five across the board. Go. That brings 0, 4, 12 up to nine to points nine. on the season. So not a bad showing. Almost certainly will break double digits. Almost certainly, almost certainly. I'm starting to feel worse and worse about my call that we're going to have a new leader by the end of the day. Yeah, but you called it on yeah. the on the pack that happened to be worth like 57 points. That's so true, that's true. There, there were worse calls to be made. Plus, you know, we got five packs left. That's plenty of time. Five pack magic. Five pack magic. We're Here throwing, we go. We're throwing around the word magic a lot today. <laughs> it's a magical day, Ben. <laughs> Ariel Stormborn literally made it rain. True, okay. true. Making it rain. Not with points, have, but with sky. You gotta have faith. It is thunder and something fierce, y'all. It's it is. quite a thunderstorm it's, happening it's where we're at. It's medium intimidating. Yeah. <laughs> all right, next up is Josh. Another, okay, Josh, look, all you need to pull is just the Mel Metal, okay? You've got eight cents on the season. You're in a terrible spot. Stay there. Stay there. Okay? And then you'll be in a great spot. Yeah. By being terrible. Exactly. Which is great. They get it. Good start. It's out of energy. I want to see no points. Rubbin, Medicham, Tranquil, Umphazon, Cinescorch, Palavin, Matini, One oh. Tree Oh! Well, it could still be a one pointer. It could be still it a one pointer. It could be. It could be a see. one point. Number 60 on the set, 33 cents. One! Actually, that is less because the other one was in the 40 cent range, so we have a new last placer. It is Josh with the Wug Trio EX. Andriana over there just absolutely frip, flip, frippin', flippin frippin'. out. Frippin'. Just frippin'. Just frippin', man. It's like the sound that is made when you like tear a card in half is a yeah, frip. That's a frip. That's, that's like absolutely you, what it you is. You frip it. Yeah, you frip it. Exactly. All right, next up is Jacob Wurgenis. 
Do you feel like the further we get into this show, the more unhinged we get? A little bit, yeah. 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 All right, now, Jacob, listen up. We just had a last place leader change, but you are also in position. You've only got six cents, okay? You can do this. You, you can, can do this. You seem like you were checking your notes. I was just checking some things, and so we just have to keep it under 41 cents. Okay. That's all. Okay, just 41 cents. You can all do right. it. So we got the Realm Award, the Ponytail, the Chatot, Chatot, yeah. the Cottony, the Metagross, the so. Razorade, the Exadrill, the Golit, the Grotol, and the Rally Oh, we think we did it. That is a terrible card. <laughs> what a truly awful card. Oh my gosh, what do we do? 11 Playable. cents. 11, 11 cents for the Relic and, and just like that, a new last place is born at 17 cents. Way to go, wow. Jacob. I hope you had a great one minute, Josh. Yeah, poor Josh. Poor Josh. Josh is just like parading their living room being like, they surely like nothing that. else will happen today. Today, there's only four backs left. Uh, I get at least one week of enjoyment out of this. Worginess is like, I got this. Hold my beer. All or, right. Or whatever. Or whatever. All right, next up is Anna. Anna. <laughs> it's an inside joke with it's, us now. It's a joke. We, it's talk, a joke. we talk to Anna, and we know she loves it. Yeah, she thinks it's hilarious. She she's, thinks she's, she's definitely dying. not staring at her screen, smiling, and going like... <laughs> There's a thousand I bet you anything she's There's doing. I bet you anything. I bet you anything. Hi, Anna. Hey, Anna. How's school going? All right, next up is water. So nothing, no multiplier yet for Anna. Meldum, Heatmore, Rolicoli, Azumarill, Screamtail, Heavy Baton, Iron, Valiant. Oh, critical hit on the Meldum. On the Meldum. And then the shift tree doesn't score. The and wins the again. Got no. Just two points Just for Anna. Just two points for Anna to 12 on the season. Oh, man. Oh, you hate to see it. Our that. multipliers are either doing a lot or nothing, which are basically the two options. Yeah, yeah. We, I mean, it's, yeah, but you're right. It hasn't been like, oh, multiply into like eight points. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know? It's like, yeah, like, they, we, I want like a medium, a yeah, medium a, multiplier. A medium multiplier. Actually, what I really want is as many just massive multipliers are as humanly possible. So I right. love a massive multiplier. Down to two left. Next up is Jaston. Jaston. Here we go. Currently in the Navy. Uses antlers and all of his decorating. Yes. This says, that's in the Navy, and ironically, Cat accidentally wrote his info on a Team Water card first, but that's redonkulous because everyone knows Jaston is fire. Um, everyone knows this. Everyone knows it. All right, so we got the Carvana, the Ekans, yes. the Turtwig, the Puccino, the Keldia, the Delmise, the Electivire, the Snom, the Solosis, and the Macargo. So wow. three points. Well for Jaston. Jaston. Jaston, who is up to, uh, you know, an improvement over their last pack, which was only two points. So, yeah. up to five. Up there to five. Go. There you go, Jaston. So you only need like 105 more to tie for first. There you go. It's an easy thing to do as long as you pull the best pack. Exactly. With a multiplier, With probably. With a multiplier. All right. Final pack is going to Elizabeth. Last pack, magic. Last, last pack, pack, magic. Let's see it. Let's see it. I would love some last pack magic. I would love yeah. some last Let's pack magic. Let's see it. Are we going to get the dark energy? No, we're not. Oh, man. Drop. The rain, like it is outside. The giraffe rig, the rosé, the cutie fly, the drillber, hand trimmer. Hand trimmer? Who's trimming their hands? Hand? I guess it's talking about that you're like hand of cards. But, oh, yeah. but still. Maybe we've had this conversation. I think we have. Like you hold your hand. Rapsky. But it's kind of weird. <laughs> Fortress, Turtonator. Oh, nope. Not a multiple on the rapid action. Oh, and the walking wake! Pretty okay. good full okay. art. Okay, so last pack magic, number 189. There was some last pack magic. So if we've had it before. $2.91. We'll round Two. up to three. Three? <laughs> wow. What, three. what if it was Elizabeth's? Because she had three point last time, too. <laughs> like, it's my second one. The second one you guess yeah, the two like, walking okay, okay, thank you, thank you for this. We're building you a deck. Right, and we're doing our best. You With need four for- Hand trimmer. Yeah, for a hand trimmer. Exactly. There you go, walking bag, last bag magic makes an appearance! Well done. I'm just and trying to imagine like like uh, like fingernail clippers, but it's more like a, like a trimmer like for like your your face or your hair yeah. or something. Um, it's like, it looks like, like it's like for you know when you have really hairy knuckles, you got to have that hand trimmer right yeah. there. Yeah. 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 Vroom. Vroom. There yeah, you go. Why not? Yeah, but uh, you know what I don't need right now is a mustache trimmer because don't forget, growing the mustache. So you know, Instagram scb.com fundraiser. Link in the description. There we go. Fundraiser. Yeah. It's another kind of razor. Yeah. Not to be confused with a hand, a hand trimmer. Hand trimmer. A hand razor. A hand razor. <laughs> oh man, that was a bad now, joke. Who's who has who's got the hand razors? Chrisara. Yeah. 
in the sort of contestant, right, Chris yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Blades for hands. <laughs> they get it. They get it. Hand trimmers. Oh my god, this show is nothing but inside jokes. <laughs> at, at this point, at this point, if you're with us on season eleven, made up rules, made up jokes. We have a lot of fun around here. We do. If you'd like to be a part of that fun, you can do so by heading on over to patreon.com slash supercarlinggaming and selecting the Box Breakers tier. We have a link to that in the description down below. It's a lot of fun. We'll open a pack for you. We'll mail it to you. You get to be part of the competition. Sometimes people win things. Indeed. Good times. Yes. Good times yes. to be had. Very good times. Otherwise, guys, as always, until next time, Hariyama! Hariyama!